<sighs> hey guys, um, miss me? Uh, this video actually started out as a response to Anna, um, who inspires you from YouTube, and I was thinking about it, and nobody really inspires me from YouTube because I don't actually watch that much YouTube. Um, so if I was going to have to answer that question, it would probably be someone like Star Kid or the Joker Vlogs. Um, and then I realized that they really inspired me for writing. So I thought, okay, who inspires me as a writer? And uh, I came up with this list, like giant list of people that I couldn't possibly fit into like a top five kind of thing because each person inspires me in a different kind of way and they're all on uh, playing fields of their own. So every since everything came back to writing, I'm going to talk about my writing in this video instead. Um, I guess uh, I started writing when I was in grade four because of my great fourth grade teacher who assigned a project to write a children's story. And I wrote one about a, uh, a little bunny who lost his carrot and had to find it again. Um, and from there I just kind of took off on my own, uh, chasing all of my, uh, all of my own ideas that were just kind of like hovering in the air in front of me. Um, and since then, like, I like to think that I've grown as a writer. Writing for me started out the same way that reading did. Reading provided me with an escape, a different world for me to go into and live a different life um, through the other characters. So because of that, because I read so much as a child, I, uh, I decided that those worlds stopped being good enough, and I wanted to create my own, and I wanted to create my own characters. I kind of took bits and pieces from my favorite authors at the time, which would have been people like David Eddings, uh, J.K. Rowling, Timora Pierce, um, Lemony Snicket, uh, those people, which I read when I was li uh, younger, and um, started piecing together my own form of writing. And I've, been, I've been a fan of Joss Whedon for about uh, five or six years now, and uh, I only just recently noticed that um, looking back through my writing, I have a very similar writing style to him, which is probably why I like him so much. So I think right now, at this point in time, he is my biggest inspiration when it comes to creating and when it comes to writing. And uh, uh, I just, I only dream of being as amazing as that man, but I'm going to try. And um, who knows, maybe someday I'll be published or I'll get to create my own television series or something like that. Um, Ah, oh, that would be amazing. Ah, oh, I want it. I do. I do. I just, I just want to create for people. But um, right now, I have to create for myself, and uh, that's what it's been up, up to this point. Is what it's, what it has been, is because I'm not ready um, for publishing. I haven't grown that much. I, uh, I need to keep working on the quality of my writing, and um, I guess the most important thing is to just not stop. Uh, and I'm not going to. I won't stop writing, and I'm not going to stop shooting for my dreams, because that's all that's keeping me going for now. Um, and it's really, sometimes it's all I have. It's uh, the way I express myself. Um, I guess, in a way, that statement is true. You get to know someone uh, mostly through what they write than what they talk about, and I don't talk to people. Um, I don't trust people. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, someday. Someday you will see my name on a book cover or in the credits as the writer or something like that. I'm going to make that promise right now. I'm not going to give up on that dream. Okay, so I've, um, I've actually decided that this video is going to be in two parts. Uh, so next week I will be back talking about uh, the different kind of things that I write and how I got into writing those uh, specific things. Um, if I consider uh, reading a little bit of what I've written um, out loud, but I don't know if you guys want that. So let me know if you guys want to hear something that I've written. I will totally uh, read something. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Um, and it won't be late, I promise. <laughs> okay, bye.